Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to integrate Linux server for Grafana Cloud. Okay, so for that, here I mentioned some prerequisites. So first of all, we need a AWS account with Ubuntu instance. Then we need a basic knowledge of AWS services as well as Grafana. Then we need a Grafana Cloud account. So if you don't know how to create Grafana Cloud account, then you can check my previous video. And in that video, I have shown how to create Grafana Cloud account. So you can follow my steps and then create a Grafana Cloud account. Okay, so that's the main and important prerequisite to create integrate Linux server for Grafana Cloud. You need a Grafana Cloud account. So let's start to integrate Linux server for Grafana Cloud. So first of all, we need to install the Grafana agent on Ubuntu. Okay, so first of all, we need a Ubuntu instance. So as you can see, I have successfully launched my instance and I have successfully connected to my terminal. As you can see, welcome to Ubuntu 22.0 for LTS. Okay, so I have successfully connected to my terminal. Now, the, let's start of, so follow the first step. We need to install Grafana agent on Ubuntu. So for that, I'm going to create um, dire make directory using following command. Then I'm going to install the Grafana cloud agent using wget command. Okay, now I'm going to run the third command. Okay. Now after that, we need to update our system package using sudo apt-get update command. So as you can see, it's updating our system package. Okay, it's done. Now let's install Grafana agent. So as you can see, it's installing Grafana agent on our Ubuntu 22.0 for LDS. So as you can see, it's done. So I'm going to clear my screen first. Okay, after that, let's start our Grafana agent then let's enable our Grafana agent and after that if you want to check the status then let's check the status of our Grafana agent so as you can see it's active running that means we have successfully installed a Grafana agent on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS okay now it's time to move second step now the next step is we need to install Linux server integration for Grafana cloud so for that, first of all, we need to log into our Grafana Cloud account. Okay. So as you can see, this is my Grafana Cloud account. You can see. So if you don't know, then you can create your Grafana Cloud account first. Okay. So after that, we need to launch instance of Grafana. So as you can see here, if I scroll down, Grafana press launch to start using Grafana or view details to manage Grafana plugins. Okay. So click on launch. You can see it's loading. Okay. So, so as you can see the message, good afternoon, set up your Grafana cloud stack in a few easy steps and you can see the options. Okay. Now click on this menu bar and click on this connections and click on this add new connection. And here choose your operating system. So my operating system is Linux server. Okay. So after that here you can see the details so first of all you are currently viewing grafana alloy instructions but we need to switch to this grafana agent statics right so let's click on this okay now we are in grafana agent statics okay so install grafana agent static mode then make configuration selections and prepare your configuration files and so on the details okay so first of all here, so first of all here, you need to click on this run the Grafana agent. After that here, choose your operating system. 
Okay, so I'm going to choose this operating system here. Okay. And then after that. Okay. And then here after that. We need to create a new API token here. Okay, so click on this and enter the API token name. So I'm going to enter my API token name DevOps Saint and click on this create token. So token name already exists. Okay, so I'm going to enter new token name DevOps. Okay, and now click on create token. So as you can see, so token successfully created. Okay. Now our token successfully created. Which token? API token. Okay. So you can see this will generate API token which we will use the setup Grafana agent. So copy and run into the uh, and uh, sorry, copy the code and uh, it install and run Grafana agent as a Grafana service. Okay. So I'm going to copy this code and install here. Okay. After that here, sorry, 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 I'm going to copy this code. So run this command here. As you can see here, this is our token. Okay, so we need to copy this code. So run this command to install and run Grafana agent as a agent service system D service, not this API token. So we need to copy this code and run into our terminal to install the Grafana agent as a Grafana so it's installing so okay so as you can see grafana agency agent is now running to check the status of your agent so you can run this command to restart your agent so you can run this command to config file into this particular location so this is our Grafana configuration file. So our file in this location. So it's done. Okay. So we have successfully installed Linux server integration for Grafana Club. Now let's move to the next step. So our third step is we need to modify the Grafana agent yeah, file. That means we need to modify the Grafana agent configuration file. Okay. So let's modify. So first of all, so first of all, let's open the Grafana configuration file, agent configuration file. So I'm going to copy the command and paste here. So this is the Grafana agent configuration file. So now go back to the Grafana cloud here. Okay. So go back to the Grafana and let's scroll down. So in prepare our configuration file, give the value of host name. So I have monitoring node. So first of all, let's scroll down here and here. So let's give your host name. So my host name will be DevOps. DevOps. Okay. So my DevOps name is DevOps. And so you can see it's replaced. Okay. Is automatically replace here with the name DevOps Int, which is your host name. So that's why you need to enter a host name that it is automatically replace. Okay, so now let's copy this. Okay, let's copy the code. Okay, and after that, let's open Grafana configuration file and here. You can paste this code into your file. So in your Grafana configuration file, where you need to paste, so you need to paste here. You need to paste these lines before logs okay so i'm going to copy this lines copy to clipboard and paste before logs okay then after that 
place enter here and before matrix you need to paste this integration call log config scrap config file so i'm going to copy this and paste here before matrix okay so paste to before matrix okay so yeah it's done now let's save the file and exit okay after that after changes in any configuration file we need to restart our service so after that you will ask your password so if you don't know the password so first of all you need to reset your password using sudo password ubuntu and enter your new password sorry enter your new password so i'm going to enter my new password so re-enter for confirmation and after that then the command so it will ask your password and now authentication complete right so it's successfully restart our service sorry okay authentication complete now that means it successfully restart our service okay now it's done okay now the next step is install dashboard and alerts on grafana cloud okay so the next step is we need to install dashboard and alerts on grafana cloud so how to install the dashboard and uh, alerts on grafana cloud so first of all next click on install and install pre-config dashboard and alerts so let's go to the here and here if i scroll down so first of all here you need to test your connection first okay so first of all here let's test the connections okay so click on test connection so as you can see the agent is now collecting data from your machine okay now click on install install dashboard and alerts to access to pre-config dashboard and alerts that work right away so click on this install So dashboard and alerts have been installed. Okay, now here click on this view dashboard. Okay, after that, after click on this view dashboard here, you need to click on this Linux node overview. And here I'm going to set the time. Last five minutes I go. Okay, so as you can see, the total count CPU, memory total, swaps, and so on. You can see memory uses. Okay. Right, you can see load average and root mount and operating system. Right, that's the five minutes I go. If I 15 minutes I go set. So, okay, it's authorized. So, So as you can see here, the your uptime, host time, and CPU uses. So we need to refresh the page. Okay. So then you can you can check these details. Okay. So I'm going to refresh the page, and then I have this. So I'll see the page. You can see if I go click on this last five minutes, they can see the last five minutes. If I click on this last fifteen minutes. So you can say the last 15 minutes of dashboard okay so you need to refresh the page first and wait for for some uh, time that means uh, wait for wait a second some few seconds then you will uh, have the data okay so you can see uptime host time kernel version operating system total swap memory and so on. okay so that's the dashboard 
So here you can see like CPU uses, memory uses, network traffic and memory mode. So that the dashboard display the various graphs, right, metrics and so on. So that's it. So it's done. So in this session, we have learned how to integrate Linux server for Grafana Cloud. So thank you for watching and I hope you understand.